Hey gang, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amy and today I wanted to do something a little different. Um, so today I figured I would take you guys through my morning uh, skincare routine. So I am in my bathroom and I've already taken my shower and usually I will do like the cleansing part of my routine in the shower just because you know the water's already running <laughs> but today i figured you know let's take a moment and take you guys through um what i do to keep my skin nice and hydrated and refreshed and you know my skincare routine so if you're interested in seeing more of this routine keep watching so the first step in skincare of course is to cleanse the skin so what i'm going to do i'm going to use today i'm going to use this um, this is a sample size. It's from a company called You to the People. This is a superfood cleanser. So it's spinach, green tea, and kale. This was in a sample I received in an Ipsy box, but I liked it so much that I purchased a full size bottle, which as you can see, I am in need <laughs> of a refill. So first I'm going to wet my face with some warm water. And then just one pump is all I need. One pump of the cleanser and I'm going to rub that on. And then do my face and my neck. So that gives me a good lather. And it smells so good. Be sure to go down the bridge of my nose and the top of my brows. You just really want to lather this really good. All right, so once that's cleansed, I'm gonna grab my towel, I'm gonna wet the end of the towel with some warm water. And I'm going to, I would normally rinse this away, but with a wet towel, I'm going to kind of press and wipe it away. The next step after cleansing is exfoliating. And so I'm going to take this exfoliator from Bliss and it is the Micro Magic Skin Skin Renewing Microderma Razor Scrub. So I'm going to use this while my face is still, I still have some dampness on my skin. I'm gonna take just a small amount. That's about all you need. And I'm going to first kind of spot it where I want it to go on my face. And this has like a really nice, like minty fragrance and it feels so good on the skin. And then I'm just gonna massage that in. My skin feels a little dry, so I am going to just dampen my fingers just a little bit. And begin rubbing this in. Add a little bit more water. There we go. And this just feels so good. And this helps to remove any dead skin and sort of really revitalize. And I also take this on my lips as part of like a lip scrub just to remove any excess dead skin from my lips as well. Again, I'm gonna take my towel, wet the end again. and remove. I wanna remove it from my lips as well. Just begin to wipe that away. Just begin wiping that away. And it feels, oh my, I love the feeling of this. It leaves my skin so soft. And it has this, because it has like that cool mint feeling, you know, uh, that feeling you get like after you rinse your mouth out, um, after you're done with your mouthwash and you have that cool mint sensation in your mouth, like that's how my face feels. I'm taking the Thayer's. This is the uh, Witch Hazel Aloe Vera formula. 
uh, it's an alcohol free toner and this is in lavender. And so I am just going to take this on a cotton swab. Just gonna kind of saturate the swab. And then I'm going to kind of rub that around my, my face. And I add a little bit more. And I normally, I usually have, I keep, you know, a couple of cotton swabs on the side because I go through these pretty quickly. I ran out of the pads. I, I normally use the cotton pads, but I didn't have any more. So for this, I'm using a cotton ball. So I'm going to take another one. Saturate the cotton ball. And just... Rub that around my skin. And I also make sure to do my eyes as well. Begin because again, my eyes are dark and they are discolored. Um, so I definitely have some hyperpigmentation going on. So I like to do my eyes as well. Just really getting that in. Still on the toning step, I'm going to take the Martian by Sunday Riley. It is, see that? It is the um, Martian Mattifying Melting Water Gel Toner. So I'm going to take this, and this was in an empty box, and I'm so glad I received this because it is such a really good product. It doesn't smell good, but it works very well. So I'm going to just take one pump, and this tends to like really squirt out. So I'm just going to take one pump. See what I mean? <laughs> And just with that one pump, I'm going to dab it on and then just massage this into my skin. Remember, don't forget about your neck. So this next step is new to my regimen because I just received this product in this month's uh, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. And so it is the Good Jeans Lactic Acid Treatment from Sunday Riley. And so I'm just going to take one pump of that and apply that to the skin. Next, we move on to serums. And I have a couple of different serums that I like to use. Um, so first, I like to take the, this is a vitamin C uh, pollution prevention serum from e.l.f. It's really inexpensive. And it you know, has a doctor, so this is almost empty. So I'm going to tip the bottle, press the nozzle in to pick up some oil. And just going to drop that. A couple of drops and rub that in. Now I found this particularly um, good in the winter months. So when it's you know the weather is a little colder, the air is a little more crisp. <laughs> uh, I found that that was very protective, kept me very protected during the winter months. Then the next thing, the next serum that I'm going to use is, this is the Lou Serum Hydrant. Uh, this was also in an empty uh, bag and it actually turned out to be really good. So I'm just going to take one pump rub that into my fingers and then just apply that on top. And this is all keeping me very soft. My, my skin is very, very soft. And then the final toner is the Pearlese. This is, I'm sorry, not toner. It's the final serum 
This is the Perlice. This is a brightening serum. And what I like to do with this is to kind of just mark it under my eye. And then rub it in. And this will all just help to repair my skin. Now, because I do so much during the day, I don't do as much at night. Just rubbing that in. Up next, we moisturize. And so for today, I'm going to use the, this is a combination of moisturizer and SPF. And SPF is very, very important that we add that to your skincare. So I'm going to use the Murad Vitamin C with SPF 30. I'm going to use this to moisturize. And this was also in, this was in my February Ipsy box. Don't need a whole lot of this, just uh, maybe a dime size amount, maybe. That's about all you need. And again, just dabbing that on. Bringing it down to the neck. And then on top of this, just because, and I like to do this step on top of the moisturizer just because it adds a nice shine and it locks in well with the moisturizer, is my water cream. And so uh, I had one that I ran out of and thankfully I received a new one in this month's Ipsy box. And this is the Kate Somerville. This is the uh, Wrinkle Warrior Hydration Gel. That's what it looks like. And this is brand new, I just got it. So I'm just gonna use what's in the top. I'm just gonna take my finger and run it across the top. And dab it on. And then work it in. And this feels so good on top of any moisturizer, really. Um, it just feels so good. It gives the skin a nice glow, um, nice and hydrated very soft very smooth and you know my skin you guys what you see on camera is how this looks in person my skin looks this good in person i love it all right we're down to the final two steps some of you may be wondering you know well what about a mask do you do any type of mask I do uh, like the, the mask, but I only do masks once a week and I did my mask yesterday. Okay, so next I'm gonna do is my under eye, so the eye cream. And I like to save this for last because if I do this step earlier, I kind of feel like it's wasted if you start to pile other things on top of the eye cream. That's just my, my take on it. So this is actually, this is a um, illuminating eye cream from e.l.f. So I'm gonna just dab into the eye cream and I'm pressing it along my under eye, up to my temple and around my orbital bone. I'm pressing it in first and then I'll rub it in. Go ahead and massage the cream in. Up to my temple and around my orbital bone. And that just helps to brighten the under eye. And I have tear trough, so this is uh, really good for me. And it helps. I've actually lightened up a lot since using this uh, eye cream. Because um, I used to be dark all the way down. So my skin is definitely improving. And definitely, um, you know, these steps are working. It's a little too much. Out to the temple. In onto the orbital bone and then just work it in. I applied a little too much on this side, but that's okay. That is okay. So the final step in my skincare routine is lips. So I've already exfoliated my lips when I did the uh, exfoliation for my whole face. So I like to finish off with a lip oil. And this is the Super 8 Lip Oil from Yensa. And I like that it has just a, okay. 
my hands are full of products. So I can't get it open. <laughs> okay, so I like that it has a wand, like a lip gloss, but it's not a gloss, it's a lip oil. And so I can just run it across my lips. And that leaves my lips nice and conditioned and moisturized because we want soft lips, ladies and gentlemen. We want those kissable lips. <laughs> so that is it. That is my full morning skincare routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it. Um, leave your comments below if you have any questions or if, even if you have any recommendations. Let's talk about the products you like and what have been your experience with any of these products. So comment below. Let's have some conversation and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.